chosen number series which of the following is the sum of the first and third digit of the second lowest number now tell me what is the first lowest number here first lowest number is 135 what is the second lowest number second lowest number 237 and we have to find the sum of first and third digit now tell me what is the first digit here 2 and third digit is 7 2 plus 7 9 next one if one is subtracted from the second digit of each of these numbers and one is added to the first digit of each of these numbers in how many numbers will a digit appear twice okay so one is added to the first digit of each of the number and one is subtracted to the second digit of each of these numbers in how many numbers the digit appear twice now tell me 423 will become 5 513 now tell me can you see the digit is repeated or not here no and 237 will become 3 27 the digit is repeated or not no and 694 784 now tell me the digit is repeated here no and 135 225 it's repeated or not yes and 748 will become 8 838 now tell me the the digit is repeated or not yes or no 838 so here we can see 8 and here also we can see 8 here the digit is repeated twice or not how many such numbers are there here two numbers next one next one in which of the given numbers is the product of the first and the third digit divisible by the second digit in which of the following given numbers the first and third digit divisible by the second digit okay when you go for first option 15 is 5 Now tell me, five is divisible by three. Seven twos are fourteen, divisible by three. Next one, two sevens are fourteen, divisible by three. Yes, sir. No. Next one, six fours are twenty-four is divisible by nine. No. Next one, seven eights are is divisible by four or not? Yes. And four threes are twelve. Twelve is divisible by two or not? So option is fifth option. Next one, the next one. So directions. So Q is twenty meters to the east of R. Q is twenty meters to the east of R. So here I am taking R here, and Q is Q is how much distance? Twenty meters to the east of R. Next point. Next is. Yes is 10 meters to the south of Q. Yes is 10 meters to the south of Q. Next one and 15 meters to the west of T. And who is 15 meters to the west of T here? You got to end on a word. You have to represent just now. The first person. Who is the first person here? Yes. S is 15 meters to the west of T. S is 15 meters to the west of T. Next one. U is 15 meters to the north of T. How many meters? 15 meters. Now tell me, up to here how much distance? 10 meters. And the remaining distance is how much here? 5 meters. Total 15 meters. So U is 15 meters to the north of T. Satisfying or not? Isn't it? Next one. And Z is 20 meters to the west of U. Z is 20 meters to the west of U. Now tell me, up to here how much distance? How much distance? 15 and this is 15 and this also 15 meters and rest remaining part will be how much here 5 meters isn't it now tell me z is 20 meters to the west of u satisfying or not yes right now tell me up to here how much distance this distance is how much here 5 and what about this distance here 15 this is 15 meters and this is 5 meters and when you go for the first question here If x is seven meters, seventeen meters to the east of R. If x is seventeen meters to the east of R. So seventeen meters means up to here fifteen. Fifteen plus two. How much? Seventeen. X is how much distance here? Seventeen meters to the east of R. Then 
which of the following will be the nearest point to x nearest point x means now tell me what is the distance between q and x here 3 meters what is the distance between uh, this point and x here 5 meters now tell me what is the nearest point here q is the nearest point or not yes second option next in which direction is t with respect to z when you see from z t is in which direction when you see from with respect to z when you see from z so t is in which direction south east direction south east so the option is third one next inequalities inequalities the statement is r equal to e e less than q q greater than equal to b and s greater than equal to q and the first one is s less than e where we can see s here s is in the second statement and e is in the first statement now tell me what is the common variable in first and second statement here q is common or not isn't it that means s greater than or equal to q and q greater than e now tell me what is the condition between s and e here what is the condition between s and e here s is greater than e but in the conclusion he has given s less than e this is strong next one so b less than or equal to yes so b is here s is here the common variable is q or not isn't it so b less than or equal to q and q less than or equal to s that means you will get b less than or equal to s or not shall i write completely shall i write completely uh ah. it's so only two follows next one r less than d where we can see r here r is in the second statement and d is in the first statement now tell me is any common variable in first and second statement here what is the common variable here f is common or not isn't it that means r is less than or equal to f and f less than or equal to e and e greater than d okay now when we see these conditions here the conditions are opposite or not when the conditions are opposite definitely we can't compare r with d that is wrong here next one u with g so u is in the third statement and g is in the first statement now tell me what is the common variable in the first and third statement e is common or not isn't it that means u greater than e next is e greater than g e greater than g now tell me what is the condition between u and g here greater than but in the conclusion he has given less than or equal to now tell me this is right or wrong here wrong so the option will be neither nor next one a greater than j so a is in the second statement and j is in the first statement now tell me what is the common variable here k that means a greater than or equal to k and k greater than j now tell me a greater than j is right or wrong here right next one p less than or equal to l so p is in the second statement and l is in the first statement now tell me what is the common variable in first and second here k is common here that means p greater than p greater than k next is k greater than or equal to l now tell me will you get less than or equal to here no only one follows so you are getting or not artha atuna yes or no yes next one l less than or equal to a so l is in the first statement and a is in the second statement the common variable is k that means l greater than or equal to k and k is less than or equal to a l greater than or equal to sorry l greater than one second one second one second so between l and a the common variable is k here that means l less than or equal to k and k less than or equal to a now tell me what is the condition between l and a here less than or equal to satisfying or not isn't it next one p greater than j so p is in the second statement and j is in the first statement now tell me if the common variable is k is common variable or not so p greater than k and k greater than j so p greater than j that is right or wrong here yes or no next one next one 
So 10 people are sitting in two pal rows containing five people each in such a way that there is an equal distance between each and persons. In row one, L, M and O, P are seated and all of them are facing north. So tell me the persons who are facing north here. Who are facing north here? L, M, N, O and P. So these persons are facing north. Okay. Next one. And in row two, Q, R, S, T and U. So these persons are facing towards south. Who are facing south here? Q, R, S, T and U. Okay. Now tell me, the one who are facing north, this side will be right side and this side will be left side. Yes or no? And the one who are facing south, this side will be left side and this side will be right side. Okay. Next one. Next is, therefore in the given seating arrangement, each member sit in a row faces another member of the other row. And first point, the one who faces P sits a fourth to the left of Q. The one who faces P, P in Yavarite faces in a row, a person in a row, Q ki fourth left hand. So Q ki fourth left hand, if you take Q here, 1, 2, 3, 4. Satisfying or not? Isn't it? And for this Q, this side is left side or not? The one who is facing P and this person is fourth to the left half Q. Now tell me, here we got the five persons or not? And opposite also, how many persons will be there? Five persons will be there or not? Yes or no? Right. Next one. The immediate neighbor of P faces R. The immediate neighbor of P means this person and this person faces R. Next one. The one who faces T sits second to the left of M. The one who faces T sits second to the left of M means, now tell me, can T can come here? Can T can come here? No. Now tell me, can T can come here? No. Now tell me, can T can come here or not? The one who is facing T and this person is sitting second to the left of M. M has to come here or not? Isn't it? Next one. And L is not an immediate neighbor of M. That means L will not come here. L will not come here. Next one. One of the immediate neighbors of U faces O. One of the immediate neighbors of U faces O means, now tell me, can I take U here? No. Now tell me, can I take U or not here? The immediate neighbor of U faces O. That means O has to come here. Isn't it? Now tell me, L has to come here or not? Then who is the remaining person facing north here? N has to come here. Tell me the person who is facing south here. Yes, that's it. Is clear or not? The next one. Next coding decoding. So next to see the coding decoding. Next coding decoding. Okay. So what may be the code for should be involved? What may be the code for should be involved? Now tell me where we can say should here? We can say should in the first line and third line. We can see should in the first line and third line. Now tell me in these two lines any other word is repeated here? In these two lines any other word is repeated here? So stress is also repeated or not? Yes, isn't it? Now, definitely on the right side, two codes should be there which are repeated in the first and third line. What are the two codes here? RD. Next is TS. RD and TS. And TS is repeated thrice. That means TS is the code for stress. Now, RD is the code for should or not? Yes. Next one, B. Now, tell me, can you see the word B or not here? Can you see the word B here? We can see B in the first line and we can see B in the any other line it is repeated or not? Yes, we can see B in the first line, we can see B in the fourth line. Now tell me, in first and fourth line any other word is repeated here? What is the code repeated in the first and third line? KN. So KN is the code for B. Now tell me, can we see the word involved in the coding decoding? No, isn't it? Clear not. 
definitely so this question will be based on completely based on option isn't it so definitely in the option rd should be there and kn should be there so when you go for the first option kn is there but rd is not there we can eliminate the first option or not isn't it next when you go for second option kn is there and rd is there and lj has given here now tell me can you see lj in the coding decoding or not yes from this we can say that lj will not be the code for will not be the code for involved because lj is not the code for the word involved because lj is there in the coding decoding but involved word is not there in the coding decoding so can we go for so can we eliminate the second option or not yes when you go for the third option rd is there but kn is not there we can eliminate the third option here next one when you go for fourth one here rd is there and kn is there now tell me sa is there in the coding decoding yes that means definitely we can we can eliminate the fourth option or not so your answer will be fifth one next one what is the code for cos what is the code for cos now tell me where we can see cos here in the second line and it is repeated near the line here it's not repeated that means if you want to find the code for cos we have to know the codes of high stress and disease now tell me high is repeated or not stress is repeated or not and disease is repeated disease is repeated here no isn't it that means definitely in the option we will get the option either or or not what is the option here third option next one what is the code for immune in the given code language what is the code for immune in the given code language now tell me where we can see immune here in the fourth line now tell me immune what is repeated near the line here ink ekkada na repeat ayina ink ekkada repeat avaladandi so immune yokka code manaku telusukovalante definitely ga ee three codes words yokka codes telusundala leda right not is repeated or not yes and b is repeated and hi is also repeated that means definitely on the right side one single code should be there yes or no what is the single code here ys is repeated here po is repeated and kn is repeated so the answer is od first option next one what is the code for not high in the given code language what is the code for not high in the given code language now tell me where you can see not here third and fourth line in these two lines any other word is repeated here what is the code repeated in these two lines po next one when you go for the word high where we can see higher second and fourth line now tell me what is the common code in the second and fourth line y yes po ys where we can see po ys first option next one what does the code stand for lj where you can see lj here in the first line now tell me can you see lj in the any other line here it's not repeated isn't it now tell me kn is repeated or not and ts is repeated and rd is also repeated that is definitely on the left side one single word should be there okay so stress is repeated and should repeated b answer is less next one uh, shall we skip this question yes or no ah uh, right then see here a b c d e f g and h or eight friends are sitting around a circular table but not necessarily in the same order and some of them are facing inside and some of them are facing outside so now tell me total how many members are there here eight members are there and all these eight members are sitting around a circular table and among these eight members some are facing inside and some are facing outside next point next point a sits at third to the right of h isn't it a sits at third right of h means now tell me do you know the directions of a and h here no a sits at third right of h next point next is there is two people sit between h and b how many people are sitting between h and b two people are sitting between h and b in this case you will get two possibilities are not here h can be before b or b can be before uh, before h isn't it next one c sits second to left of b so c sits second to left of b 
so first left and second left so c sits second to the left of b okay this time i am writing all these points in shortcut later we will match all these points okay next one there is three people sits between b and e now tell me between b and e how many members are there here three members are there in this case you will get two possibilities or not b can be before e or e can be before b isn't it so three persons are sitting between b and e means definitely these two persons will be opposite or not yes next one and d is sitting second to the left of f d is sitting second to the left of f first left and second left so d is sitting second to the left of f next one and the word who represents here the word who represents here f and f is not an immediate neighbor of a f is not an immediate neighbor of a next point and immediate neighbors of h face the same direction as h the immediate neighbors of h faces the same direction of h okay next point f sits the third to the left of a and the word who represents here a and a faces center now tell me can you take this point or not because he has given the direction of a here a is facing center and f sits the third to the left of a first left second left third left f has to come here or not yes or no isn't it next one the immediate neighbors of a face opposite to the direction of a the immediate neighbors of a face opposite to the direction of a here here a is facing inside these two persons has to face outside okay right no listen no listen a and h a sits a third right of h a sits a third to the right of h here isn't it that means so here a is here here one possibility h can come here or h can come here and here h will not come here because already a is there here yes or no isn't it that means definitely h has to come here or not and a sits a third right of h means now tell me h has to face inside or outside h has to face outside first right second right third right that means so this point is completed or not this point is completed or not yes next one now tell me between h and b how many persons are sitting here how many persons are sitting between h and b two persons and this side when you go for to the right of h it is not possible here when you go for to the right left of h now tell me can b can come here or not now tell me this point is completed or not isn't it next one the related to b any other point is there here b and e now tell me between b and e how many persons are there here three persons are sitting between b and e definitely e has to be opposite of b or not isn't it next one this point is completed and regarding c c and b so c sits second to the left of b and definitely c has to be in second position and c will not come here because already a is here and definitely c has to come here or not isn't it now tell me b has to face inside or outside inside so c sits second to the left of b now tell me this point is completed or not yes or no next one what is the next point here d sits second to the left of f d sits second to the left of f means and only we know that f is here yes or no so d sits second to the left of f means definitely d has to come here or not now tell me f has to face inside or outside outside or not so for f this side will be left side first left and second left so d sits second to the left of f completed or not yes next one then who is the remaining person left here who is the remaining person g so g has to come here or not yes then what is the question what is the condition as given here the immediate neighbors of h are facing the same direction as h and here h is facing outside and definitely these two persons has to face outside or not completed so am i going fast fast ka jitna na this is okay or not or shall i go little bit slow huh this is okay next one so 
55 how many such pairs of letters are there in the word transfer which has as many letters between them in the word as they have between in the english alphabet isn't it what is the word he has given here transfer we can do this question in two methods you know isn't it one is based on the place values and second one is based on the alphabets we can go for the second method the easiest method and the fastest method and do you know the place values of these letters alphabets i pena in unta letters what is the place values telsa telida t place value r place value a place value n place value s place value f place value e place value r place value q place value q place value i place value s place value 23 23 v v q j r s v l l ah good very good right so now we have to find the pair of letters in both forward and backward direction when you see forward here so 20 21 22 23 24 25 and 26 and after 26 you know that we should not go for the next letter a okay next one 18 19 20 any other highest number is there here no next one 1 2 3 4 5 now tell me 1 and 5 is a pair or not isn't it and 5 after 6 Next one, fourteen, fifteen. Any other? Sorry, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Now tell me, fourteen and eighteen is a pair or not? Isn't it? Next one, nineteen, twenty. And after twenty, any highest number is there? No. And six, seven, eight, and five after six. In forward, how many pairs we are getting here? Two pairs. When you see in backward, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Any highest number there after twenty? No. And five and six is a pair or not? Five and six is a pair. And six after seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay. So five is completed and six is also completed. Next one, nineteen. Nineteen after twenty. After twenty, any highest number is there? No. Next is fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. And one, two, three, eighteen after nineteen. Total, how many pairs we are getting here? Three pairs. Next one. Next one. Eight friends M and O P Q R A R S and T are sitting around a circular table facing the center with equal distance between them, but not necessarily in the same order. Okay. So total, how many persons are there here? Eight persons are there, and all of them are sitting around a circular table facing. Center one two three four five six seven and eight. Next point. M C is the third rate of yes. Now tell me, can you take S here or not? We can take S at any place. M C is third rate of F. S means M S come here or not? Next one. And only three people sit between P and Q. So between P and Q, how many persons are there here? Three persons. That means P and Q will be opposite or not? Yes. Next one. Neither P nor Q is an immediate neighbor of M. That means P and Q will not come here, and P and Q will not come here. Now tell me, if P comes here, Q has to come here. If Q comes here, P has to come here or not? Yes or no? Isn't it? Next one. Next is O sits third to the left of P. O sits third to the left of means if P is here, O has to come here. If P is here, O has to come here. Two possibilities are there. Next one, and N sits to the immediate right of T. N sits to the immediate right of T. For example, ah, uh, for example, here I am taking P here. Here I am taking P here, and who has to be here? Q has to be here, isn't it? Two possibilities are there for P and Q, isn't it? Okay, and who sits the third to the left of V? Now tell me, who has to come here or not? Isn't it? And here Q is there, and here P is there. Okay, now tell me. N sits to the immediate right of T. 
n sits to the immediate right of t means now tell me these two persons has to be immediate neighbors or not yes. now tell me can these can we place these two persons in the circular arrangement can we arrange these two persons in the circular arrangement no that means this possibility is right or wrong here wrong then what is the next possibility can we change the p and q or not yes if we change p and q here p has to come here and here q has to come here and o sits third to the left of p that means o has to come here or not o has to come here o sits the third to the left of p next is n sits to the immediate right of t n sits to the immediate right of t satisfying or not isn't it then who is the remaining person r that's it okay next one next one question number 61 Seven festivals held in seven different places. That is Bangalore, Jaipur, Patna, Delhi, Mumbai, Chandigarh, Kolkata. On seven different days of the same week, starting from Monday and ending on Sunday. So from Monday to Sunday only. First day is Monday. After that, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Seven festivals held in seven different days. Next one, the festival in Delhi was held on which day? Wednesday. Delhi was held on Wednesday. Next one, only one festival was was held between the one who is in Delhi and Kolkata. Between Delhi and Kolkata, how many festivals were held here? Only one. Now tell me, in this case, two possibilities will get or not here? so kolkata can be on monday or kolkata can be on friday two possibilities here so next possibility is on i am taking here so kolkata can be on friday two possibilities next one only two festivals were held between the one in mumbai and patna so two festivals will be held in mumbai and patna the festival in mumbai was held on one of the days before the one in patna but not on thursday Isn't it? So between Mumbai and Patna, how many festivals were held here? Two festivals were held here, and Mumbai was held before Patna, but not on which day? Thursday. That means Mumbai will not be on Thursday. So Mumbai will not be on Thursday. Okay, right. Next one. Next is as many festivals were held before the one in Mumbai as after in Bangalore. Okay. Now tell me. What is the possibility for Mumbai and Patna here? Now tell me, can I take in the first possibility Mumbai on Tuesday? If Mumbai is on Tuesday and Patna has to be on Friday, now tell me, is any other possibility in the first case here? In case there is a possibility, or not? No, no. Ante so definitely Mumbai has to be on Tuesday and Patna has to be on Patna has to be on Friday. Okay, next one. when you go for the second case here when you go for the second case here now tell me can you take mumbai on monday or not yes or no yes. mumbai on monday so now tell me can i take mumbai on tuesday if mumbai on tuesday patna has to be on friday it is not possible isn't it next one and i can't take mumbai on thursday and i can't take mumbai on saturday the only possibility is mumbai has to be on monday mumbai has to be on monday and patna has to be on patna has to be on thursday clear or not yes next one next is as many festivals were held before the one in mumbai as after the one in bangalore so before mumbai when you go for first case here before mumbai how many festivals were held here how many festivals were held before mumbai one festival and after bangalore one so bangalore has to be on Saturday, very good. Next one. When you go for the second possibility, Mumbai is on Monday and Bangalore has to be on. Bangalore has to be on Sunday. Okay. Next one. Next is the festival in Chandigarh was held on one of the days after the one in Bangalore. After the one in Bangalore means 
now tell me when we go for the first possibility bangalore is on saturday so chandigarh has to be on chandigarh has to be on sunday and when you go for the second case here is it possible no that means we can eliminate the second possibility or not isn't it now tell me what's the remaining place left here what's the remaining place left here jaipur so jaipur has to be on thursday completed or not so clear